Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here and we are off for more of Spyro the Dragon Reignited and in the last episode we took a flight in the night and roasted a shimp on the barbie and then we had a little bit of trouble finding the key to the magic craft, uh, no, is it spellweavers, magic crafters? I forget what the name is called, magic crafters, there we are, because I forgot the key to go get that box over there, but in this episode we're going straight in Alpine Skyline. Which is not actually its name, it's Alpine Ridge. <laughs> I keep calling it Alpine Skyline because I'm used to that because of Hat in Time. Uh, it's more recent in my memory. But yeah, um, just a little thing. I know that these videos for Spyro have been coming out pretty late considering that I wanted to do this on release day, which I did. But it's been like, you know, two weeks since then. And it's been a week since I last recorded and I only recorded up to part five. And, you know, Delta Rune and Freedom Planet versus South Park Bring the Crunch, which we've got going on right now. Um, alongside this, but, you know, that's not going to be that long, so then we will be able to go full pelt with Spyro, but then, you know, uh, very late hashtag free game videos that are quite belated are coming out. By the way, these guys, kill them in one flame. They're weaker than the dogs, and yet they're twice as big. Makes perfect sense to me. Bap! And that was a recovery, I shouldn't have done that, really, but there we are. So, yeah, um, about this level, I guess, uh, druids are quite fun to kill, but they are, uh, they have their uniqueness quite showcased in this level of all levels, really. How the hell did you manage that, you weird person? And now I can't hit you, I keep running around you. Oh my lord. Oh my lord! <laughs> Nothing but failure with me and the purple boy, is it? <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, you see this slope? Yeah, the druids can manipulate these stairs and many other things in the magic crafters, like that wall over there you just saw raised in the background. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Okay, I don't know how I managed that. I must have swiveled in the wrong direction. Next time we'll swivel to the left, not to the right. I was just kind of collecting gems as I went. Oh well, not big issue. I'll just flame you and then I can get my life back into... Thank you. I was about to say, where was my... Pearl? How did you get me from there? Yeah, you know what, I'm going to ignore you. I did not see you there. I really do suck at this game. <laughs> Doesn't help that I didn't touch it for a good week, but that's not the point. I should know better. There we are. Well, we should get... Did I not click this orb? That was weird. Anyway, little interesting thing about these steps, because how the PS1 render, renders polygons and they can be like... How the hell do I keep doing this to myself? It's never a good day for me to record Spyro, is it? <laughs> in fact, I tried to record this three days in a row, but... Didn't have the time! Right, let's blast this quickly. Thing that I've learned about those, by the way, the f that I never actually realised from the original, um, if you flame those three times, the top can actually smack an enemy if it's close enough. So that's pretty cool, so we'll probably use that at some point later on. And I'll get to what I was originally going to say in a minute, because we've got to rescue Zane, the Silver Space Ranger. Oh, Spyro, you're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not! Oh, good. I didn't think so. Well, we had to flame a few of those to get to you, and you were not the Silver Space Ranger. But yeah, uh, what I was saying was is that I just don't seem to have issues. I just seem to have issues playing this game. I don't know why. <laughs> but there have actually been other issues that have been brought up, which is like a perfect segue, because I keep moaning about Sparks not grabbing stuff properly. I've actually seen online that some people have had bigger... Are you kidding me? I flamed. <laughs> I've seen other people have even bigger problems than I have. And they, um, they like actually stand next to gems and Sparks just outright ignores them. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. Apparently there's some bugs and I don't know if it's on the Xbox One version or if it is on the PS4 version. I don't know if it depends if you're playing on an Xbox One, Xbox One Slim or Xbox One X. A PS4, PS4 Slim, or PS4 Pro, I'm not too sure if any of that matters, but it must at some point, so, because of slightly different specs, slightly different tech, and not only that, but, you know, my previous PS4 had problems, and since I've upgraded to the Pro, everything's been all hunky-dory and better. Hello, Eldred. Thank you for releasing me. I like his horns, they're like vials. That actually brings me up to something else I want to talk about, actually. Like, the, uh, the, the, like, memory sizes of games these days. Like, going back to the reason why this, why, for whatever reason, this game wasn't, or what I mean by the, the whole trilogy, wasn't on it, like, a whole disc. 
and it needs like a update to do it. I mean, we already know that the Switch does that, even though it doesn't have memory to spare. You have to, you know, keep swapping out your SD cards. Even if you do, that's why I prefer physical copies, to be honest, especially on the Switch, because they're basically little memory sticks in their in their own right. But can I fall in flame? Yeah, that works. Cool. Like the little play pin. But yeah, um, it's like with the Switch, I prefer getting physical copies because when you download, you, obviously it's going to be eating up your precious, 30, well, not even 32 gig of memory, it's 28 gigs, 4 gigs for the system. And that also goes for other stuff like, yeah, I know you. Bap. There we are. You sneaky bugger. Working in tandem. But yeah, it, it's. It, but with Nintendo games as well, was that they have like a special type of compression that they do for the games that doesn't sacrifice fidelity or the quality of the game at all, it, unless it comes down to the processor of the system itself. But just like with the Wii, the Wii U, and the, the 3DS, and the. Of, and obviously the Nintendo Switch, memory sizes for games tend to be smaller, even though they got to have like the adaptive stuff and it, like the adaptive resolution stuff and like um, extra programming for HD rumble and touch screen and all that. You know, got to got to keep all that in mind. And yet they seem to be the cheaper option in terms of memory space. That's probably because of how they compress it, because the, the loading speeds are the same as physical copies, because from what I deduce, it loads what it needs to, extracts what it needs to at the time, and that's what keeps the memory cost down, but the loading time's the same, so it don't matter. Xander. Great work, Spyro! If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the Magic Crafter's world. I like his wings, they're like crystal, and how does he flap away with them? I don't know, magic, he must have lost his wings and replaced them. Let's grab all that. But yeah, that's just a like, little conversation topics I wanted to discuss while going through here, because, you know, it was actually kind of like... Because the, those dra that, the, the dragon that we rescued down there, what I didn't actually get to, is, is that... Always says thank you for releasing me, and you, that's the only time you see him. All that data for that model, very intricate. Yes, the detail was there, and I appreciate it, but... Just taking another existing dragon and changing the palette like before would have saved probably at least a good gig of memory. Just for example. Ooh, oh, yeah, I didn't notice that actually. You see how it's, uh, he's wiggling his tail there. It's actually affecting the grass around him. That's pretty cool actually. I know it happened when you walked around, but that's very attention to detail. See, something like that, I appreciate it, but at the same time, if it could have fit the whole trilogy on one disc, it would have been fine. Okay, I need to get moving. Right, so... Do not jump for the pillars, because that was my problem from before. We'll make it to here first, even though it looks like you could potentially make it. Even with a dash jump, you, it's really hard to do so, so we're not going to bother. We'll activate this guy in a moment. I want to get this guy first. Come back here, you egg thief. Actually, I should have done it because I forgot it goes outside and we got bottomless pits. That's fine, though. We only have to do an extra lap around and we can take that slower, because by the time he drops... He stops, and I did not flame him. Okay, you know what, let's get the dragon before we actually fail and flop this up and we have to make the glide again. Kelvin! Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. I like his design as well. He sounds like the dude who would talk like this whenever you get the chance to meet him. He's like a great papyrus skeletor. <laughs> I don't know. He, he, he has that kind of like look to him that would have that voice, and he did kind of have that voice as well, so that's pretty cool. By the way, that thief, I couldn't even see him for most of that lap. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of like going out of my way to grab the gems on the way, but I think that was the last one now I think about it. Yeah, it looks so like it, so once I get this guy, I might have to make another lap. And, oh, I thought that was it. Because so, the thing is, when thieves do a jump, when they land, they stop momentarily. And I think that happened in the original as well, which was like a chance to catch up. And of course, cutting corners helps as well when it's like a linear pathway like this. And there we go. Oh, and you see that? I did not get the cutscene. That's because I was in midair and Spyro can't stand still. Which is a nice uh, speedrunning trick, because jumping and flaming to get them is actually really good. And... Uh, are you serious? I couldn't be any closer to that. What am I supposed to do? Ja dash jump for that? <laughs> I'm really getting sick and tired of trying to glide to platforms and I just keep scuffing the- uh, I land on the edge, then I head bonk because I'm still in the gliding animation, and then I fall. That's really dumb. Wow, I didn't even- I did, it looked like I didn't even need to glide there. Right, let's get off that platform before we die. Here the burr! Okay, okay, where do I go from here? Where do I go from here?! 
Well, I got a trophy. I guess we'll check that out while we're waiting. Nope, that was wrong. Yeah, I've changed my background to another one of the, um, to the things. Uh, but yeah, go to the trophies here. And, um, go down to what we got. I bugged that one up. Uh, buh, 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 buh. the balloonist. Oh, did it detonate three explosive chests on the pillars of Alpine Ridge so that we would have. That's. That's part of 100%. Fair enough. Huber! Oh, I gotta blow them up again. I guess I gotta, like, make three trips across these. Oh, God! The camera! That don't help. All I wanted to do was jump back and glide, but because the camera literally snaps back to your bottom, it messes up what direction you're holding, then you go into a pit, and that's when Spyro goes red, so it seems to loop it in the background? Oh! Okay, now you do a weird pseudo-hover. How did I do that? Because I've noticed that he's been doing that when I'm editing the videos, but I don't know how to trigger it. Right, let's turn the camera first before we flame this. Which is annoying, because I already got the trophy, but I've got to keep going back and forth to grab the gems. Now I actually can try again. There we go. Now we're done around here. Now we've got to go back to the beginning and go the different direction because you have to go... Yeah, that, like I said before, you got to, like, do multiple laps of the level no matter how you do it. And even if you do miss something, which is in which case you use sparks to point in this version. If not, you just got to, you know, scour the level again. But let's be honest, sparks was a little bit more reliable at that point. Remember, patches can happen, so that's not a problem. They can fix it as they go. But... Yeah, we're pretty much just looping back to the beginning right here. But I don't know, under, I don't understand why, for whatever reason, um, when they, when, when um, in Spyro 1, the, the levels don't wrap around both ways once you take down a wall or something. It's always separated by a glide or something, or a wall, so you can only go one way. Right, so what I need to do here, let's come back up this way. I don't know if that's good enough. Is that going to be good enough? I don't know. Whoever! Just do a mini dash jump. Yeah, that was barely enough. Let me flame you before you freeze me. Let's take care of you before you raise yourself. Because it looked like that platform he was going to raise. I think that was actually the intent. Flame you. Why not? Let's charge in and bash Mother Booty. Oh, they're too big to be charged into. Well, I got him before he hit me. Does that count? <laughs> Should have saved that critter now, I think about it. Would have got some health out of that. Oh, well. Not that big of a problem. We're almost done here, actually. Look at what, how much gems we've got in, in this level. In fact, I think the limit's 500, isn't it? Yeah, 500. We're actually almost done with this level already. That's a lot of gems. We're getting into quite high territory. But back it up a bit. I was jumping the gun a bit there. Come on. Yeah, all three of these manipulate this. That way. <laughs> I like how they're just like, it goes that way. And then it does. All right, and this is my last tenor. And there we are, we are done. And you know what, I'm just going to save myself the trouble and just exit level. Because we're pretty much not where we need to be. What I should have done actually was do that segment first and then go back to, then head to the exit portal. But since that's the majority of the level, I wanted to do that first and then do the offshoot later. I mean, we had two offshoots to do regardless and we're going to backtrack anyway, but you get what I mean. Because if I finished off with the egg thief, still would have had to pretty much get back to the exit portal. <laughs> The levels are open enough so that even though they are in a linear fashion, you got to keep going off every which way and backtrack. And I enjoy that. So that's not one level for this video. Let's go get another one done. I'm still going to stick to my two and episode creed. I'm not going to deal with that guy again. I'm going up here. I'm going to high caves. I have the high ground. <laughs> the easiest way to trigger Darth Vader. <laughs> I have the high ground. So if you're like a dragon or a highlander, <laughs> there you go. Highlander. Skylander. I get it now. It's funny. Get it? Spouting them. Okay, I'm being terrible. I'll just barrel roll. Was well, it more of a corkscrew, considering he actually tucks his wings in when he does it? I don't know. Can I actually hit... Can I actually like, activate stuff instead of just using your flame? I don't know. Oh my god, he's doing it again! <laughs> you know, if I didn't have super sampling on for pseudo 4k, or 2k, whatever, um... You probably wouldn't see it. Alright, let's go this way first. And there's a reason why, because this level's infamous for a few things. I mean, first you've got these tornado uh, magic dudes. 
these tornado wizards, as, along with the ice ones that you have to flame. But these tornado ones, they, when they chuck tornadoes, they follow a set path. So as long as you stay out of the way, they'll never hit you. I don't know what you were trying to attack there, mate. But I want to hide here because... Look at these guys. This is what I'm talking about. Look how they manipulate this. <laughs> they just point in the direction they want to go. They want to go... That away! <laughs> and then we go... That away! <laughs> I love their animation. It's just like... Wah! Whoosh! And Spark's just doing loops there and Spyro just sneezed. Oh, boy! Okay, get up. Quick, 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 quick. Got him. <laughs> Got him! Right, get these first before we get the checkpoint. Yeah, that's a thing. Notice the Spyro... Uh, Spyro? Sparks ate both of those in the same chomp. He hasn't. He doesn't have to eat them one at a time anymore. Holy Cyrus! Please do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. You have candles on your horns, mate. How do you keep them there? They must be dripping. I mean, considering that you spout fire, you must be pretty hot yourself. <laughs> anyway. Let's, uh... Oh, boy. Ah, that's what I want to get to, but we'll cover that in a bit. Alright. There we are. Okay, so once we take these guys out, these uh, pillars will stop moving left and right, which feels a little bit trippy as soon as it returns to its position, because you're expecting it to continue swinging, but... See, it pulled me back. Um, well, it didn't pull me back, the pillar pulled itself back, and I just happened to land on it at that point. My god. You see the detail on that? Like, when I'm walking around, I'm leaving my footprints all over the place. This pillar's dirty. Or oh, our paws are dirty, and that's just what we're leaving. Okay. Loads of chests in here. Can give us a lot. No! Oh, well, I just literally bounced out of that water. Like, I burnt my tush, dipped my foot in hot water, and that's what I get. Hello, fairies. What are you doing? Let's follow this around. Got some uh, more gems. Seems to bring us over there to that dragon. Let's see what these fairies do. Are they following us? They are following us. <laughs> ah, so we can't take full damage here. Or, well, I say full damage. We don't void out. And they just spit us off here. I feel like they're supposed to spit us off back here, but because uh, that looked a little bit janky on how far, fast we fell, but that oh well. But basically, we've got like a supercharged ramp here. Yeah, we can do some massive jumps now. And if we come over here, we might get that clue. We're from Ajax. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Well, it doesn't tell us about the clue on mate using it to jump, but he's talking about these. If we went through the cave at the beginning of the level, this is where we would have come out of, and there's more down that way as well. Problem is, these guys are invincible, as Spyro said. As you saw there, my flame just literally bounced off them. And they're so big, we can't charge into them either, because if you remember, big enemies we can't charge into. So they are just going to hurt you. In fact, charging into them hurts you in itself, so... Yeah, we do need the supercharge, and it's actually quite hard to hit them with it, so... Let's, uh... Let's see if we can actually use this, because apparently supercharge makes us invincible, so that sounds like a good thing to use. Hibbubba! I actually missed, and he didn't see me. What the heck? I must have scuffed him and it didn't count. Because I felt a little bit of a rumble. Come here, you. There we are, and we knock him out like that. Now here's the thing, I'm not going to go out my way and do that continuously to get through these caves because I'd rather just hug the wall, get through quick, and you are a mug and a half, but there is a spindly Johnny there. So let's burn him quick, get back to the ledge, and I went the wrong way because I couldn't see what I was doing. Oh well, I took him out anyway. We'll come back for that gem. I'm not going to go for it right now, that'd be suicidal. He'll block the way again if we don't take him out, so we will do just that. Come over here, and here we are, we made it to this ledge that we were after. Get a kiss on the fairy, and... Our glowing pattern is new, and we have a bar at the side which wasn't actually in the original. I can't believe I got hit there. Basically, we have Super Flame. This thing pretty much incinerates enemies, no matter what they are. Big, small, metal, big and metal. These, these, uh, these spiders can't do anything about it. <laughs> and just like before, you know, if you've played your Harry Potter in the heyday, <laughs> on the same console that Spyro originated on, perhaps. Or even on the Game Boy Color, because I think they were actually weak to Incendio. So, 
instead of just continuously forpendling them into submission. So I need to get this again, but we don't want to go through the caves this time. Instead we want to go back to the beginning of the level, because we're not going to make it all the way through the caves otherwise. Thank you for the janky camera there. I want to go this way, blast them to open with our super flame. Just one shot that. And I've gone the wrong way, I think. No, I can still make it. I can still make it. I can still make it. I'm not gonna make it. I got him! Ha <laughs> ha! Never mind! Nailed it! The one time I'm actually good. <laughs> because I've been failing a lot in this Let's Play so far, and even though we have been still going through pretty swimmingly, there have been a few instances where I failed. There's one more right there, but we can get him with the Super Flame one final time. Should have dealt with him first, but I wanted to get the first part even done with, and the Super Flame gets done really quick. So, that was perfect. And that pretty much goes all over the place, as you can see in the corner there. I mean, it's cohesive enough, you know where you're going. You know what I mean. So, hopefully there's no more gems over there. What happened to the camera there? Well, I don't know how I feel about the fairy designs in this game. Oh, I kind of bugged that up. Can I get another kiss? No, I have to wait for the end. But yeah, can we, talk, can we just appreciate the glowing patterns on Spyro? He's like got gems glowing. If, even the tips of his horns are just fluorescent. I love it. And that didn't happen in the original. You just literally got a pink, uh, pinkish red hue and that was it. But here, it's like you are literally energised with the fairy's power and that just enhances your flame, making it super. It's always super in those days, wasn't it? Super Mario, super flame. Wait, where's... Where'd he go? There he is! You're patrolling, you mug! Oh, and I killed all the spiders, so I got another uh, trophy. So let's go have a quick little look at that. All the way down to the bottom yet again. Yep, defeat all metal back spiders. So once again, that was required because they do actually drop gems, and I've lost sparks, which is a problem. But I think I have everything in these caves. Oh yeah, and because we've lost sparks, so if it's not obvious enough, you clicking in the left analog stick does not allow you to use the treasure finder. Because Sparks is obviously the one that actually makes that thing. Thankfully these guys respawn, so I can kill these guys. And oh, that was a blue butterfly, so we got fully healed with a one-up, which is very nice. And you missed a butterfly, but that doesn't really matter at this point, I guess. And we still got pretty much half the level to do, so that was only the first couple of segments. Still got a few others to do, and we got a supercharge to get to them. There we go. I have to make silly noises in order to make a jump, because I'm not too sure if I'm ever going to make them. My track record, that's probably a given. Right, so that was the return home portal. Once again, we found the exit before we're already done, but hey, we found Cedric Diggory. Try combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves. I like how he flexed his wings when he said gliding. But yeah, that's pretty much him telling you, try going to other places, because you're not done yet. Come down this way, and we're pretty much back over here again, if you remember. Which is kind of funny how they have, like, some caves that allow you to, um, you know, go around the place without actually trying. I mean, I guess you could try and make that jump into that cave opening there and, you know, talk to him that way in order to get the clue to use the supercharge. Because you might be trying to angle the supercharge into the cave and you might think this is like a little ramp slope in order for you to get a bit of leeway turning in. For those who don't think you could make, like, a massive jump, but, yeah, you can make massive jumps and that's what he was there for. But I prefer entering like that because it's cooler. Let's come up this way. Oh boy! I don't know what happened there. I kind of lost all momentum. But hey, I grabbed everything in here so I can't really complain too much. Problem is, there's no way for me to get back this time, so I'm just gonna and get caught by the fairies. No matter where they are, even if they're lagging a bit behind, they'll always catch you, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, they just literally chuck you down the rank. What's all that? Let's glide at the top of our jump and make it. I'm not gonna make it. I know I'm not. Ah, oh, <laughs> never mind. I think I wouldn't have made that unless I hugged the wall. I kind of slid up there a little bit, I believe. I'd like to think. So let's go up this way. I think there's an egg thief up here. I think we saw him on the way. Yeah, here he is. All right, so this is easy enough. Just do this. This. Nope. Oh boy, don't do that. Actually, hang on. I, can, I might actually be able to use this thing that I've been talking about before. What did I talk about before? Basically, like I said, with these things, they can actually home in our enemies if they're close enough. I'm hoping we can cheat this out. Two, three! BAP! <laughs> Knock him down and get the egg. There we are, just break the system. For some reason, I hit that one. I hit both those three times, but the third one didn't want to go off. Hey, we got the egg, and that's what matters. I did it in a cool way. 
Yeah, I'll just drop. Yeah, I know. I've, I just realised that I've talked about like the hover being on triangle, but it's not in this game. And I've talked about it later on, and it always messes me up. Well, it's because they pretty much becomes a part, of, a core part of Spyro's moveset in the later games, and I'm used to that. But in this game, instead of you getting a bit of extra height, you drop like a stone. It's the complete opposite of what you want. So I don't know why I keep going up and down that thing. I don't need to do that now. I've done all that. Okay, I need to come in here, blow that up, blow that up, blow that up. There we are. Gems. 400. Oh, we're climbing. We're climbing. 426. Go in here. There's a bunch more. Yeah, all of them are pretty much in these uh, segments. Don't get too charge happy, though. They stuck a little pool of water here. Just be jerks. And. Can I make that? Well, it don't matter. I'm not dying today. It just means I've got to make my way back there. Look how far you get taken back on the map. But it looks like we've got another little um, chase segment to do. So we're going to have another. I don't know what I was trying to do there. <laughs> trying to be fancy. But yeah, we've got like another little uh, lap area to do there, which means we're probably going to have to have another egg thief to get. And if we check our stats, that is exactly what it is, because we're missing an egg. So there's probably going to be all the gems along that route. I mean, that looks the same distance, to be honest. So I should just be able to make it by gliding, but it doesn't seem to be the case. What am I missing here? Let's try this again then. I'll do that. There we go. That gave me enough distance. All right, come here, you mug. I'm gonna ram you up my your my, my butt your butt with my horns if I can talk properly. In fact, we got some very sharp turns around here, and we've also got to split off. That means more gems that we're gonna have to go backwards for. But yep, we got them already, and I got that in mid area. Again. I didn't actually. I thought I was on the floor for that one, but that don't matter. Just go through here one more final time in the other direction in order to get the uh, rest of the gems. Oh, there wasn't any gems here. Huh. Oh, I missed some. Let me go around one more time. Pretty sure I got everything around here. Don't want to use sparks unless I have to. Did I miss anything? No, I didn't miss anything, so that wasn't actually a split off. It's... Hmm. So what am I missing? Back that way. I'm missing a blue. Am I missing a blue? Oh, that was a shame. I thought I was doing so well. <laughs> right, where am I missing my blue? It's back in the caves. <gasps> Sparks, you didn't grab one, did you? Which way? Which way, buddy? Wait, that way. Oh, let me guess. Didn't pick up a gem up here. I think I did grab that green. Wait, now you're pointing down that way. Where do you want me to go, boy? Is it back in the very beginning? There. Oh, wait. This way. Through this little gap. No. Where then? Oh, come on! That was at the very start! We started right here! How did we not grab that? God damn it! Well, that annoys me. That really actually annoys me quite a bit. <laughs> That rustles me jimmies, that does. How do I miss that? Well, you know what? I'm going to walk down to the uh, exit hub because, you know what? I got an outro because we've done our two levels for the day. In fact, we're at 30 minutes. It actually took longer than I thought it would. Dang. But hey, you are going to give me a blue butterfly and you're going to like it. Where'd you go? There you are. No, you didn't. Nah, don't matter. We're going this way. So, we've done both the high caves and alpine ridge we did the alpine caves <laughs> and we got like over we just got a thousand gems for doing so which is a massive boost to our numbers and with that guys in the next episode we will continue through the magic crafters world maybe take on the uh, flight stage and get toward the boss see you guys then